425,000 COVID tests and 85,000 vaccines later, the Alliance Energy Center will shut down those services tomorrow. What a journey it's been, certainly marking the end of an era. Our Jamie Perez spoke to the people who have been the backbone of the community testing site for months. And she joins us live now with what they're reflecting on today as services come to an end. Jamie? Right, well, this today and tomorrow are a really bittersweet last couple of days for these folks, especially the ones who have been here since the beginning of October. Not only have they helped tens of thousands of people make it through the end of this pandemic, but they're also walking away with some valuable life experiences themselves. Who's getting tested today? Michelle Miller has asked that question thousands of times over the last year. And what's her name and birthday? But this will be one of the last times she says that here at the Alliant Energy Center. Less testing, less traffic more children now a sign of the times as the services for COVID testing and vaccines will come to an end tomorrow means that we have really great vaccine rates we see that cases are low so um, it feels very strange to be closing such a big site but gives us hope for doing work differently in the future public health Tess Ellen said this day would not have been possible without the people who devoted their lives for the past year to this work probably been the best job that I've ever worked at Amanda Shield was formerly working in retail but found her life's mission after bringing thousands thousands through to the other side of this pandemic. Knowing how much work that we did here and how many people that we helped save. It's amazing to see what's possible when a, a ton of different people come together. As they look back on the changes we've seen over the past several months, going from nearly 2,000 people a day to around 200. It's the people who supported one another who were part of the solution that got us here. You get a list of what exactly you need. But just because this site is shutting down doesn't mean their work is done just yet. Me moving some of our services again to more mobile COVID vaccine clinics around Dane County, as well as moving into our regular immunization spaces. So we'll be shifting shifting some staff over to different types of work. These friendly faces who carried us through will still be around. Hopefully public health continuing. We're, I'm going to be in the clinic starting on Monday, and that's going to be very exciting. Lining up for us whenever we may need them again. So much. You have a great day. Thank you. If you know someone who has helped with these efforts here at Alliant, be sure to thank them for all the work that they've done all this time. Here's some information for you for those smaller clinics that open when Alliant closes. They'll have these going through the end of summer and then they'll reevaluate based on what the needs are then. This information is also available online at channel3000.com. All right, Jamie, thank you.